Okay, hey y'all, um, this real quick, um, we had this for dinner. Um, it is a breakfast casserole. It, sometimes we have breakfast, um, you know, during the week. And it's real quick, real easy, real good. And be sure to look for the video when I, when I make that. I just paired it with mac and cheese, but you can really do it with anything. And you can use it for breakfast or lunch as well, or appetizers. So it's real quick and simple, really easy weeknight meal. Hey y'all, it's another dinner at our house and we have some barbecue that we put together on the stove and in the oven. Um, I've got sloppy joes and some barbecue wings and I made some tater tots to go with it and all I did on the sloppy joes was I cooked hamburger meat loose and put our favorite barbecue sauce on it along with a little bit of hot sauce and that was it. Real simple, didn't cost me much, and it was real quick to throw together. Okay y'all, this is the finished product. I took it out real quick and uh, set it up so you can see it. Um, it's real easy quick, it's the best, and it can cook during the day. It only takes a couple hours to cook it though. Alright, on to the next day. Okay y'all, so this is another dinner this week. Um, it's a sausage hash brown casserole. Um, be sure to look for the video. We did a video on this. It's real easy and simple. I try to stick to anything simple in my in my household. And it's economical. So really, really quick in the crock pot meal. Okay, so tonight's dinner was corn dogs and cheddar curly fries. Real easy, quick, simple. Um, we were out of town, so I needed something really quick. And uh, I made some cheese sauce as well. Just real easy. Melt some Velveeta, a little bit of cheddar or any kind of favorite cheese, just a couple of, you know, just a little few slices of that and a little bit of milk. And that way they'll have something to dip their fries in. It's just a real simple cheese sauce. And that's it. Okay, y'all, here is another weeknight meal um, that I just made. Um, it's really, really good. It's, uh, let me try to think of the name of it. It's supposed to be spicy, creamy chicken. And I use ziti noodles, which is what the recipe called for. Um, it's really, really easy and really good. Um, you'll probably really, really like it. You can use probably fresh tomatoes if you chop them up real fine, but I use Rotel and it's still good. It wasn't too spicy or anything. 